Hey everybody, once again it's Dan the Git School Dude with another Git tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about Git reset modes. And uh, I think it'll be pretty interesting, so let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to be using the trick um, example repo, which is available on GitHub. And I've created uh, a change, a modification to the README, and it's um, in the index already. Because I'm going to be using this as part of the example. I'm on the master branch and up to date with the latest. Um, so you may have noticed I haven't done a video dedicated to Git Reset yet. It, it's sort of one of those commands you end up using without necessarily understanding it or needing to understand it um, because it, or you're usually introduced to it when Git status tells you that it exists. Uh, the primary use for Git Reset is to unstage a change from the index, which we can easily do by just following the instructions. And now if I get status, we see that it is unstaged. Now remember, this didn't actually change the contents of this file. It just took the contents that were staged and unstaged them. So let's go ahead and undo that to get back to where we were. And so there's several git reset modes. I'm only going to go over the three most used today. Um, maybe I'll make follow-up videos for the other ones, but they're they're not as uh, important in my opinion. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually <laughs> you're gonna love this. We're gonna look at the man page. Everybody loves that. So if you scroll down here, you know, these man pages are pretty hard to read, which is why I make videos on them. But this is basically what we're gonna look at today: the git reset and the mode. So the first three modes here are what we're going to look at soft mixed and hard now mixed is actually the default mode it says right here if mode is omitted defaults to mixed so this the command we just ran actually was the mixed mode and so we see here that it says resets the index but not the working tree ie the changed files are preserved but not marked for commit and reports what has not been updated this is a default action so that's exactly what we just did when we did a git reset head we said take it out of the index but don't actually change the contents of the file so if for the curious the change that's made here is just adding white space so so I don't get comments about that what change did you make <laughs> Okay, so what I want to show here is just exactly what we did before, but um, actually specify the mixed flag and show you that it, exa it, it behaves the exact same way. So remember, mixed is the default action. We didn't specify it in our previous example, but if we do it here, oh, that's interesting. So saying, warning, mixed with paths is deprecated. Get use git reset dash dash so it's just talking about um, how this notation is preferred where you have a separator between um, the point in history and the uh, path to the file that you're trying to operate on this is a thing that I think uh, newer git versions are starting to require and so that's why we're getting that warning so anyway we ran that command I'm not gonna run it again and we'll notice that it also unstaged the change just like just like we did before without specifying the mixed uh, flag and just for a warm fuzzy for those curious you can see that we have the exact same delta so we didn't actually change the file at all okay so let's go ahead and re-add this change to the index because we're about to look at git reset dash dash hard which is I believe the next one on the list right. yeah so we're gonna save soft for last because that one's the most interesting in my opinion but reset hard you may have probably already used this quite a bit which is used to reset the index and the working tree it's essentially used to reset your branch to a state in time um, so like let's say you're, you're doing some work on a branch and you decide Oh, I need to throw away these changes. Let me just blow away the last three commits. You typically do a reset hard on that. So it says any changes to track files in the working tree since commit are discarded. So, for example, let's take a look at our git log. We're on 2335F. 
and we do have changes in the index, let's go ahead and pretend that we want to roll this branch back to 17A5. How we do that, remember, we have changes in our index. If we type git reset hard, and then the commit that we want to reset to and hit enter, it'll say head is now at exactly where we told it to be. And it shows the first line of the uh, commit message. More importantly, git status shows that we are clean and we are behind by two commits. So we did exactly what, you know, it did exactly what we expected. Now the hard flag, you gotta be careful with because if you have anything in the index, it gets tossed and that's what we just saw happen right there. So let's go ahead and <laughs> um, let's go ahead and reset back to where we were. Remember our branch was in sync with origin master so if we want to get back to where we were we can simply do this and get status will show that we're back where we started. Of course we don't have anything in the index because the hard blew it away on our first attempt. Um, but it wasn't a real change so we don't care. So let me go back down here and add a bunch of spaces and now if I add that to the index we're exactly essentially where we were before. Okay so get reset hard is pretty, pretty simple to understand. Just be careful with it because you can throw away work if it's not uh, committed on another branch or uh, so anything in your index will basically be wiped that's what you need to know about that okay so let's go ahead and actually blow this change away I don't really care about this readme anymore for this next example we'll check it out so there's no changes and we'll be perfectly clean the soft mode is most interesting so Let's take a look at the man page real quick again. Last time, I swear. <laughs> okay, so when you get reset soft, it says does not touch the index file nor the working tree at all, but resets the head to commit just like all the modes do. This leaves all your file, all your changed files, changes to be committed as git status would put it. So that's kind of a, a strange way to say. Um, when you get reset soft, you change in history where your branch points, but you don't touch any of the files on disk. And you might ask yourself, well, why would you want to do that? That sounds weird. And there's a number of reasons you want to do it, but one is it creates a pretty cool way to squash work. So if you've been following my videos, you may have seen the interactive rebase squash video where I teach you how to squash several commits into one commit and we're actually going to do that in a different way right now so real quick I have this other alias that makes this easier to look at so this is just git log with some uh, one line options so we can see a bunch of them so you can see this is where our master branch is let's say we wanted to squash this linear set of commits all the way back to say 1B149. Meaning instead of we, all these commits, we want one commit that contains the exact same content as all of these commits. We can use git reset soft to do that. So remember, we're clean right now. We are on the 2335 commit. We're gonna type git reset soft to the new commit. So we're, with this command we're saying, I want to reset where my branch points to point to the state of 1B149 but not change any of the files on disk. And when we run that, you can guess which, what, what you might see here. You might be surprised if you've never done this before. Git status will show, holy crap, we got all this stuff in the index. Now this did exactly what it said it would do. If we look at git log, we're now at the 1B149 commit, which is exactly where we told it to go with this command, but we didn't change any of the files on disk, which means that git essentially automatically put any differences between this state and our previous state on the master branch in the index automatically. And what that means is that all the content from those 15 or so commits that I highlighted, So all of these commits, so you'll notice here it's showing that our head is right here now because we reset to that state. But essentially, um, 
Well, I take that back. I shouldn't. I shouldn't highlight this one. All the commits above that one. So all of these are now all the the file changes are now staged in the index for all of these commits. So now, if you wanted to, you could get commit and summarize the last 15 or so commits here. So obviously, this is a terrible commit message, but I'm just showing what you would do. And now our get status on our local master branch, it says we've diverged. Yeah, so I guessed about 15. That's one in 14 commits, uh, different commits each respectively. Okay, so does that make sense? Look, so now what we have here is one commit that contains 15, oops, geez. One commit that, take, that contains 15, uh, 14 actually commits uh, worth of content. And as a warm fuzzy, so we're on F02B. You might want to say, well, how do I know that for sure? Well, we could do a git diff tool to see, right? So we should, if we are uh, doing things correctly, this commit and this commit should be identical file wise on disk, right? So let's verify that. Git diff tool name only. If you're not familiar with this, check out my other videos. We're going to diff, this is saying, just show me the, diff, the file names that are different between these two states in history. And you'll notice that nothing gets returned. And that's our warm fuzzy that we did it correctly. So the git reset soft command is a, an interesting, cool way to squash work. It comes with a downside, though, in that if you don't know what you're doing, it's easier to screw up. In the git rebase interactive method, everything's committed and it it gives you it, it sort of guides you step by step on okay now we're going to edit the commit message and here what here's what all the commit messages were in this particular case it's it's essentially just uh you're it's more of a power user methodology if you will so it's not going to give you a chance to say here's all the commits you're going to have to do that yourself. You're going to have to think, okay, here's what all the content was and write a commit message that summarizes all that content manually. Now it, it's faster. Um, and I actually use this methodology more now because it can be easier because you don't run into uh, rebase merge conflicts, which I'm not going to get into in this video, but essentially, so now, you know, there's two ways to squash your commits. Okay. So just to summarize, I usually do here. We covered three modes today. Get reset mixed, and then the commit is the default mode. I can't type. It'll reset the index, but not the working tree. Get reset hard commit resets the index and working tree but changes to tracked files are discarded that's our that's our command where we usually want to say I want this branch to point at a totally different location throw away any intermediate work then get reset soft which is the last one we covered resets head meaning the tip of your branch to the commit location you tell it to but doesn't touch the index or working tree. And as a side note, it puts the deltas between the two states in the index, which lets you squash if you want. Okay, that's it for this video. My name's Dan, and I'll see you next time.